Before anything else, here we go with China's most unbelievable recent advancement and technological innovation taking place in the country. Hi! Good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here. And once again, this is Arthur, and we are back again today to give you another awesome video. So today in this video, get ready to see some of the newest, amazing, and unbelievable technological innovation and advancement taking place in China. This results to the country's continuous development and economic growth. And without further delay, let's get started with our video. Number one is a glance at China's homegrown dredging vessels. A project on dredging vessel development won China's National Science Award. The project was undertaken by researchers at Shanghai Jiao Tong University and other entities. In recent years, the team have designed more than 60 giant dredgers. They are capable of dredging 1 billion cubic meters each year. Number two is China in global cooperation for unlimited fusion energy. Fission, the nuclear reaction that powers the sun and the stars, is a potential source of safe, carbon-free and virtually limitless energy. China is embracing and contributing to global scientific research on how to harness fusion energy. Number three is main arch ribs of third Pingnan Bridge closes in South China's Guangxi. A new Pingnan Bridge in Pingnan County in South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region is a step closer to full completion after it underwent a high precision operation to close its main arch ribs. The bridge will be an important transportation link to the Greater Bay Area City Cluster. Number 4 is China begins importing Russian natural gas from Arctic. With its crackdown on pollution, China is on track to become the world's biggest importer of natural gas, a much cleaner energy alternative to coal. Fueling that rise in imports coming from above the Arctic Circle is a massive liquefied natural gas production facility in Russia. Number 5 is 
Number 5 is Dunhuang Railway starts operation in northwest China. A new railway linking Dunhuang City, northwest China's Gansu Province, and Gulmun City, northwest China's Qinghai Province, is scheduled to be put into operation. Located in the Mongolian Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture of Haixi in Qinghai and Jichuan City in Gansu, the route is an important connecting line between the Qinghai Tibet Railway and the Lanzhou Xinjiang Railway. Number 6 is High Speed Commuter Train Service Launch in South China's Tropical City. A high-speed commuter rail was put into operation in Haiku, capital of South China's island province of Hainan. The trains for the city's first high-speed commuter rail will operate at a maximum speed of 160 kph along a 38-kilometer long route between the city's center to its outer suburbs. Number 7 is Beijing Jianjiakou High-Speed Railway in Service. The 2022 Winter Olympics just got another major upgrade for athletes and spectators. A new, smart high-speed railway between Beijing and Zhangjiakou, host cities for the Games, starts operation. The railway will shorten the distance between the two cities to less than 50 minutes. Number 8 is LED Lighting Project won the national top prize. Among the 296 projects honored at the annual National Science and Technology Award Conference was a light-emitting diode project that saved 280 billion kilowatts electricity for the country every year. LEDs are semiconductors that transform electricity directly into light promoting clean energy. Number 9 is, will technology be the next drive for China's electric car makers? The NEV industry has been grown rapidly in the past 10 years. However, sales for electric cars decreased in 2019 due to the decline in government subsidies.
many NEV companies believe new technologies will be the next thing that boosts market growth. Number 10 is MBR Solar Park Phase 4, 950 megawatts of clean energy to ramp up. The world's largest solar project, Dubai Solar Park, was to ramp up its fourth phase. The project includes 700 kilowatt solar thermal and 250 kilowatt photovoltaic utilization. Shanghai Electric Group is the general EPC contractor for this project. It's a key project under China's Belt and Road Initiatives. That's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have something to say about this video, please leave some comment below. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.